Bryce Hayes here, the Mando White, TLU softball head coach Wade Wilson, and TLU softball catcher Sarah Metzer. First, congratulations on the win. Thank you. So, question for all three of you. What was your mindset mindset after the early jam in the first inning? I obviously hadn't played in a week after winning the conference tournament. Go out first inning, get runners on second and third, but you're able to work your way out of it. So, what was your mindset kind of not only in the jam, but first after it, kind of get out of it and kind of come back down to earth after a little bit of seeing timidness in the first inning? They stung us early, you know, and I think it was a wake-up call for our kids, and I had a timeout to go out there and talk to them. If they weren't ready to play, they should be now. Uh, and we found a way they popped up on a squeeze play, gave us an out, and a little infield fly to second base, and then we got out of the inning with a strikeout, I believe. Uh, so I think that kind of got the game going a little bit for us. Uh, it was a little wake-up call for us, whether we needed that or not. Um, you know, but it was definitely a bunt, bunt, and then two stolen bases right out the gate. I thought we were playing ourselves, so uh, it was a good wake-up call for us. So, five, five inning win. Can you just kind of give me an overview of how you think things went today? Uh, I, I don't think we were real sharp, and maybe it's because we hadn't played in a couple weeks. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't know that our energy level was where it needed to be. I think we got things going a little bit after the first inning and after you know Kelly let off with a double and our offense kind of picked us up. Um, but, I mean, we're hopefully we can change that coming into tomorrow. That's going to be the key for us. I think it was good for um, Amanda to come in today. Ashley's thrown a lot of innings um, for us. And to know that Amanda has Ashley's back and our team's back and performed really well and did her job was uh, really awesome to see. So a question for all three of you. After last season, you know, 50% capacity, obviously dealing with the pandemic and everything, how does it feel to be back in front of a packed house here at Ed Cruzy Stadium? Crowd was rocking, kind of got into it as you, as you started to score more runs. How does that feel? It was good. Uh, we hadn't seen a packed house in a while, I and mean, about 6.30 I was a little worried about it. There weren't a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people in the stands yet, but it, it was good that, on our side at least we had a packed house. So I thought the energy was level was good, and I think that helped with us scoring early to kind of get them going involved in the game. It's really nice to see everyone back and out there. Uh, like like you said, last year um, we had a group of students that were pretty rowdy for us and it was good to see that all of our parents and family and friends and everyone could actually be here this year um, out the full force. So. so question for you specifically Amanda, how did it feel to get the call out of the bullpen? What was going through your head? It's been a minute since you've been in a circle. So what was going through your mind? How did it feel to kind of slow down some hitters today? Right. Um, it was definitely a big moment for me. I think my biggest focus going into a situation like that is just me and the catcher and keeping that. Like, I know I have a good defense behind me that can make plays, and I can let batters hit the ball, put the ball in play, and they'll still make plays for me. I want to add on that, too. Amanda, had, it's been a month since Amanda's thrown in a, in a live game. Uh, and, and for her to come in and do what she did, and I think it goes to her work ethic and the, and the preparation that she does. She works as hard as anybody on our team, and that showed up today uh, when she probably wasn't expecting to pitch. I mean, Ash has thrown complete games for the most part every time she goes out there. So all of our pitchers were, weren't in that mindset that, hey, I could be pitching here in the, in the second or the third inning whenever we, uh, we made the change. And she came into a bases loaded situation, went out and got a ground ball double play right out of the inning, and then she set them out. I think she gave up one hit. Rest the rest of the outing. So she she did a phenomenal job, and, and it's it's nice to have that. Sarah, hit your first home run of the season. What pitch was it? How did it feel to finally see one go over the fence this season? Um, yeah, it's been a slower season for me. Um, this week we focused on cutting off the ball, um, and I think uh, Wilson always goes like that to me, and it's like middle. Just think middle. So if I keep my hands on my, on my line and I just did that and saw the ball, I probably couldn't tell you what the pitch was, probably down the middle. So I like swinging it down the middle pitches, so, you know. So question for all three of you, we'll let you go. Anything to clean up for tomorrow heading into the game too? I think energy. I think our energy needs to be better. Um, and, and that's the bottom line. We want to go out and play good, clean softball with a lot of energy and, and, and have a good product for our fans. and. I think that's uh, that's what we need to change differently. That's the things that we need to adjust between now and tomorrow. All right, thank you, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you, Sarah, Amanda. Good luck tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you.